Hello everyone, this is Gary with your cards of the day and I've done a slightly larger reading today for a number of reasons. Firstly, this is my first video in a few days because it really has been sort of one of those weeks again. I seem to be having quite a few of those of late as I'm, I know for a fact that a lot of us are. Uh, also, we've just gone through the blue moon at the end of August, which was a very interesting time for a lot of us. Uh, so I thought moving into September it would be an interesting idea to do a slightly larger reading. I also had a jumper card appeared, so that made the reading slightly larger anyway. Now, the numerology of today is a 15-6, which is the devil and the lovers and the feeling I get very strongly from this is the devil card often gets quite a bad rep really because uh, it's seen very much as this kind of being in bondage, being in chains, uh, being um, trapped by your own darker side in a way um, and there's a lot of sort of negative connotations attached to it, but the feeling that this is bringing up with me today is one of passions and those really deep, fiery desires that we all have, whether we admit to having them or not. And the feeling I get is very much one of kind of almost indulging yourself indulging your passions today really making use of that more instinctual almost animalistic side of yourself and mixed with the lovers the lovers we have this kind of polarity uh, between the masculine and the feminine and in this particular instance the wild raw passion and the slightly more kind of controlled and civilized in a way um, love and so we've got this kind of polarity going on between this real sort of wild um, abandon this very fiery passionate side on one side and the very kind of hearts and flowers fluffy bunny love on the other side um, and so it's really a case of mixing these two today and interestingly looking at the run runic numerology of the day we have Gyofu which is the love side again but we have Sigil which is uh, a kind of very bright uh, enlightening emboldening kind of positive energy so it's not the devil today really it's not about the darker side for me it's about this kind of mixture of the raw and the refined. Now moving to the cards, I've tried to reflect this because we have the Golden Dawn Ritual Magic deck by Chick Cicero, which is quite a refined deck. It has a lot of very strong esoteric symbology in it. We have the Morgan Greer Tarot, which is a, a sort of Rider Waite Smith style, but with its own adjustments deck. We also have the Thoth deck by Alistair Crowley and in fairness you couldn't get a more um, wild and passionate deck than this. It really does have a lot of that um, energy to it because obviously its creator was a very um, passionate and in some respects almost devil-like character. And I've also pulled a card from my Power Animals deck, which is by Stephen Farmer. And this is a new deck for me, but I'm, I must admit I'm loving it. So, our first card for today is the Empress. Venus ruled. And here we, we're just getting this indication very, very strongly that we need to be looking after ourselves. We need to be nurturing ourselves connecting ourselves to nature, to the universe, 
to perhaps even you know the animal kingdom and really working on making ourselves whole that is the message that I'm, I'm getting from this today really work on accepting ourselves nurturing ourselves looking to heal any rifts or problems that we may have within ourselves today uh, just really in a sense giving ourselves a break and making sure that we are really looking after ourselves properly today and as I say accepting ourselves as a whole that is very strongly the feeling that I get from this card now moving to our second card we have the ace of cups so immediately we have this love influence coming in and something that does strike me as interesting if I just show you these two together is we have a dove in the Empress card here and we have a dove in the ace of cups as well so there is this really loving influence today and this once again suggests taking good care of our emotions opening up as I'm watching this lotus flower open up opening ourselves up opening up our heart chakra opening up our solar plexus chakra because I'm seeing this yellow color with it uh, and and really becoming expansive and fully stepping into who we are today uh, and accepting that it's very very strongly the impression that I get from from this card now I'm just gonna jump down actually to the bottom row here because this is where we have the jumper card and here we have the six of Pentacles this is the card that jumped out this to me is a card of give and take giving of ourselves to others and accepting from others that which they wish to give us so it is very much this feeling of giving and taking of fairness that's the other thing that comes very strongly across we have justice's scales here and but this is a much gentler energy than justice justice is a very powerful energy it's a very um, direct kind of the scales are balancing things and the sword is ready there to make sure that that balance is maintained here we have this balancing things indicated but on the opposite side is a more giving energy giving of ourselves and it almost suggests that in some ways in order to receive from others we have to give of ourselves to them we can't just expect things to come we have to offer something in return perhaps offer something first but there is this element again of fairness so lots of uh, as I say giving and taking with this card today then our next card which is from the Thoth deck is the eight of Pentacles or another Pentacles card and this one has the tagline on it prudence and the feeling here this is so this is solar ruled this is the Sun ruling uh, Virgo and I was just checking checking that because the symbol is quite small on this card this is the Sun ruling Virgo the Virgo symbol is down here the Sun symbol is up here and we we've not long since actually moved into uh, Virgo so this is kind of very much of the time that we are at but the feeling with this one is trying to make things grow make things develop really trying to perhaps develop ourselves develop our physical world develop ourselves physically as well and that again can be part of this nurturing process that we are trying ultimately to develop as people and you know we have to use prudence in that we have to take care that's the other thing that comes very strongly across with this is taking care of ourselves taking care how we do 
things. It's very, very important. And to act in a prudent manner. And our final card, I've deliberately left the animal card till the end, is Coyote, the wise fool. Interestingly enough, this almost strikes me as being similar to the fool card in the Major Arcana. But in this instance, what we have... There's a little tagline on the bottom. It says, accept your follies and find the teaching in them. And interestingly enough, the feeling that I get very strongly from this is very much like something that I said about the Empress. We have to accept ourselves, accept who we are totally, fully, uh, really become comfortable in our own skins and become comfortable with who we are and yes we all have little issues and perhaps sides of ourselves that we're not terribly fond of but we have to accept those um, things things that we might call shortcomings things that we might call failings Simply accept them as being part of us, part of what makes us ourselves. And don't give ourselves a hard time about it. So, we've got quite a few cards to recap. Remembering that we have today a 15 6, we have a devil lovers uh, influence. We have this kind of mixture of the raw and the refined, the passion and the love going on today. We have the Empress reminding us to look at ourselves as a whole, to nurture ourselves, to take care of ourselves and try to accept ourselves in our entirety. We have the Ace of Cups reminding us to open up, to be receptive, to be affectionate and loving and uh, giving of our emotions to others. We have the Six of Pentacles, reminding us once again of that give and take, of that balance, that fairness in our dealings with ourselves, but also in our dealings with others as well. And that sometimes you have to give in order to receive. It's a balance of the two things of the ingoing energy and the outgoing energy. We have the Eight of Pentacles, which is Sun Ruled. Positive energy, encouraging, trying to develop things, trying to make things grow, but acting prudently, acting carefully and caring for ourselves and our physical well-being today. And we have Coyote, the wise fool, who accepts all of his personality, all of his traits, whether they could be seen as positive or negative, and simply accepts them as being part of what makes him, him. Guiding us to do the same with all of our uh, sides all of our aspects to our nature so i hope you've enjoyed these cards of the day and this unusual but i think interesting look at the energies around us as always please feel free to leave me some comments and let me know how these themes interact with your day today especially in view of the the self-acceptance nature of this reading, it will be very interesting to hear uh, what you can relate in terms of how that affects you. Please also feel free to check out my website, www.theseerscave.webs.com for more information about myself, my tools, and the readings that I offer. It would be really nice and thoroughly enjoyable to read for you in the future. I want to wish everyone a really happy, blessed, 
wholehearted, loving and passionate day today, whatever you do. And wish love, light, blessings and freeth to you all.